Good morning, Coleman, and thank you for tuning in to Coleman Today. I'm your host, Dustin Isom, and today is Wednesday, October 2nd. We have a lot to look at in local news today, including an update on a Monday morning incident with the Coleman Police Department, Coleman County Bosom Buddies Foundation's Little Pink Dress Benefit, and supplies being sent to Hurricane Helene victims. All this plus sports, weather, and more, but for now, let's dive into the top stories happening in Coleman today. First up, in an update to our story from yesterday about a confrontation with the Coleman Police Department on Mitchell Road, Victor Dondre, 59, has been charged with criminal mischief, resisting arrest, and attempting to elude authorities after he allegedly ran police vehicles in an effort to escape. He is currently being held at the Coleman County Detention Center. Meanwhile, for those traveling through downtown Coleman this week, be aware of temporary street closures in preparation for the three-day Coleman Oktoberfest. Currently, Arnold Street and Depot Drive are closed, while First Avenue and Clark Street will close starting at 5 p.m. today. All streets are expected to reopen after October 6th. Plan your routes accordingly to avoid disruptions. And to finish out our top stories, Coleman County Bosom Buddies, a nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting cancer patients and their families, hosted its annual Little Pink Dress Benefit last night at Cotton Creek Warehouse. The venue was awash in shades of pink as the community gathered to show support for Bosom Buddies' mission to aid Coleman County residents affected by cancer. The event featured both live and silent auctions, with items contributed by local businesses, individuals, and anonymous donors. The final amount will be announced once the tally is complete. This support will further empower Bosom Buddies in assisting those facing the challenges of a cancer diagnosis. Now that we have the top stories out of the way, we're going to take a quick break before returning with sports. What's in the magazine? October's peeking in. October fest in Coleman, let the fun begin. Heroes in our town, business all around. Recipes for sharing, joy everywhere found. Colonel Coleman cheers, history in our ears, community so bright, polka through the night, sports spotlight today, kids come out to play, fields and courts are buzzing in the autumn sway, Germans came to stay, craps and brews on display, Coleman's heart is glowing in the polka way. Colonel Coleman cheers, history in our ears, community so bright, polka through the night. Hello and welcome back. Now it's time to find out what's going on in the world of sports. Let's dive into the exciting action from day one of the Coleman County Volleyball Tournament. The Fairview Aggies jumped out to a 4-2 lead at the start of the first set, but Hansville pulled ahead to take an 11-7 lead as the match went on. Fairview was able to come from behind and take a 21-18 lead later in the set, and finished strong to take it 25-19 and move ahead 1-0 in the match. The Bulldogs led the way 10-6 early in the second set and held on to a 15-10 lead as the match went on. However, the Aggies were able to rally once again, pulling ahead to take a 17-16 lead. Fairview remained in front 20-17 and fended off a late push from Hansful to take the second set 25-20. The Aggies dominated the third and final set of the match, jumping out to a 6-0 lead at the start and stretching it to a 10-1 as the set went on. Fairview built a 17-4 lead late in the set and cruised to complete the sweep with a 25-7 win. The West Point Warriors put together a dominant performance against Cold Springs, building a 14-4 lead early in the first set and outscoring the Eagles 11-6 the rest of the way to take a 25-10 win. The second set felt a lot like the first. After jumping out to a 10-4 lead, West Point extended it to 20-8 as the set went on before eventually winning it 25-12 and taking a 2-0 lead in the match. The Warriors pulled ahead 16-6 midway through the third set 
and continued adding to their lead on the way to a 25-8 win and a sweep of the Eagles. The defending champion, Good Hope Raiders, hit the floor to take on Holly Pond in the third and final match of the night, and the score was knotted at five early in the opening set. Good Hope was able to move in front 11-7 as the set went on, and eventually stretched its lead to 20-13. The Raiders finished the set strong, winning at 25-15 and taking a 1-0 lead in the match. The Broncos led the way 9-6 early in the second set, but Good Hope was able to move back in front 13-10. The Raiders led just 17-16 later in the set, but a 4-1 scoring run stretched the lead to 21-17. Good Hope was able to hold off the Broncos and take a 2-0 lead with a 25-20 win in the second set. The third set was an impressive one for the Raiders. Holly Pond maintained a 4-5 point lead through the midway point of the set, and led 19-10 at one point, but Good Hope rallied, putting pressure on the Broncos and cutting the lead to 23-20. The Raiders completed the comeback and took the third set 25-20 to sweep Holly Pond and advance to the semifinals. That covers sports for today, but make sure to check with the Coleman Tribune each day for the latest in sports coverage from across the area. We'll be back right after this message. Hello and welcome back. Now it's time to speed things up with a news rundown. Four stories in under four minutes. Coleman Fire Rescue is partnering with Anyana Fire and Rescue and All Good Fire Department to gather crucial supplies for those impacted by flooding from Hurricane Helene. Community members are encouraged to contribute by dropping off items at Coleman Fire Station 3, located at 1920 Butler Street, by Thursday evening, October 3rd. Needed supplies include bottled water, non-perishable food items, cleaning supplies, personal hygiene products, baby necessities, and other daily essentials. Your donations will provide much needed relief to affected communities. On October 4th, the Coleman County Child Development Center will host a car wash aimed at raising funds for the school's activities and essential needs. This center plays a crucial role in supporting local children who have different abilities and require specific physical or emotional support to succeed in a school environment. Stop by the CDC between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on October 4th to have your vehicle washed by the school students, all while contributing to an enriching cause. Your support helps foster an inclusive and supportive educational setting for these children. The Coleman County Public Library is teaming up with Coleman Oktoberfest for an exciting scavenger hunt, offering entertainment for all ages. Kids, families, and individuals are invited to embark on an adventure to discover Coleman's significant historic landmarks. Participants can pick up their scavenger hunt list at the library from October 3rd until the 10th. Complete the list and return it for a chance to enter a raffle to win a Samsung Galaxy tablet. Enjoy a fun-filled quest while learning about the rich history of our community. Coleman City Primary School's Candy Monsters have returned, and they're eager for treats. The school's parent-teacher organization is requesting that each student bring a pack of individually wrapped candy, ensuring it contains no nut products, to feed these hungry monsters. These candy donations will be used for the school's upcoming fall festival later this month, creating a fun and festive experience for the students. Your contributions are greatly appreciated and will help make the event special for all. Now for a quick break before we look at the weather ahead and pay our respects with obituaries. I'll be right back after this quick message.
Welcome back. Let's take a moment to pause and remember those who have lost their lives this week as we turn to obituaries. Larry Wayne Brock. Larry Wayne Brock, 76 of Coleman, passed away Thursday, September 26th. The family will be hosting a celebration of life memorial service on Saturday, October 5th at 11 a.m. at First Presbyterian Church in Coleman. In lieu of flowers, the family requests donations be made to Coleman First Presbyterian Church. Moss Service Funeral Home Directing. That finishes up obituaries for today. Our thoughts and prayers go out to their friends and families. Now, let's take a look at today's weather forecast. Today, enjoy mostly sunny skies with temperatures climbing to a comfortable high of 81. Tonight, expect mostly clear skies with temperatures cooling down to around 59. Tomorrow brings more sunshine, warming us up to a high near 85. Tomorrow night will be partly cloudy with temperatures dipping to around 61. That concludes another edition of Coleman Today. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back bright and early tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. But for now, I'm Dustin Ison with Coleman Today, hoping you have a great Wednesday, Coleman.